Once your clay has been fired, we are going to add glaze to it. Get a paper towel. This needs to stay underneath your clay. This keeps it from sticking to the table. It also makes cleanup a little bit faster. We are going to glaze everything except the bottom. The bottom is the part that touches the table. So if we leave it on the paper towel, that will remind you not to glaze this part. If you get some on there by accident, it's okay. Mrs. Hayes can clean it off. When you are ready to start using the glaze, you are going to dip your brush into the glaze. We only need a little bit on the brush. If you have too much, you can wipe it on the side. This should not be dripping on the table. When you glaze, you can dot with your brush. You can brush back and forth. But your goal is to cover all of the white except for the part that touches the table. If you want to use more than one color, you may do so, but you have to let your first color dry. This way we don't mix up all the glazes at the table and other people have clean colors to use. When you're done using this color, you will leave the brush with the glaze and you will move to the next color that you want to use. My first coat of green glaze is almost dry. The areas that are still shiny right here are still wet. If it looks chalky and dry, then it is dry. You can touch it with your finger to test it and then just wipe it on your paper towel. So this one needs to dry a little bit more before I add color inside the green. While I'm waiting for that to dry, I can add other colors on the outside and on the edges. So again, wipe the extra glaze off. We want to make sure it's not dripping. If you use too much glaze, and put more than three colors or three layers, when I fire it in the kiln, the colors can drip off and stick all over the place. So it is possible to use too much glaze. When I'm done using yellow, again, I'm going to leave the brush and I'm going to carefully take my clay and I'm gonna hold it in my hands like this and walk to the next color that I want to use. When you are totally done glazing, and we've kept the bottom white. Again, if there are a few smears, that's okay. Mrs. Hayes can clean those off. You will take your paper towel and wipe up any glaze spills at your spot. Throw your paper towel away, and we're going to put your finished glazed items in the class box where Mrs. Hayes has shown you. After you have finished glazing, we will let it dry, and Mrs. Hayes will fire them one more time. I wanted to show you some examples of what some of the colors will look like after it's been fired. So you'll notice the colors get shinier and they do get darker. Here's an example of some colors mixed together, red and orange. I also wanted to show you what happens when you use three or more colors together. So this is actually my son's artwork and he started with yellow and then he put green and orange and red and it just turned brown. So if you use three or more colors, your colors will turn brown.